Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a deck profile, the Majikashi um, OTK deck out. Um, again, please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the like button down below. And like always, any donations, big or small, will be appreciated to help the channel grow. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you. All right, let's see who goes first. Oh, I guess he's going to choose. That's okay. I mean, with this deck, you preferably want to go first, but it's fine. Interesting hand. <laughs> Hopefully, I could draw into another Majikashi and I could start the combo. Oh, good. He ended by putting one card down. Okay, that's going to be helpful to us. Come on. Okay, Wabuku. Or at least I could survive for one turn while I set up the combo. So. Oh, this will end this well. Wonder what he's playing. Really, you end your turn? Wow. Guys, you're not gonna be lucky enough like this with you getting multiple chances. And again, <laughs> it's every card in here I need, but right now it's just bad timing. Like this has to be like one of the bad, baddest hand I, I ever tried with this deck. Okay. But every card in here plays a key factor in winning. So I'm not going to despair. I have to play along right now. And again, we're lucky that our opponent is not really drawing into nothing too crazy. And even if he did, I would have Wabuku to protect me. I would have Lightning Vortex. I mean, I would have Regeki um, his ass right now, whatever monsters he would have had on the field. So we would have been okay. But again, right now, since he has a bad hand and I have a bad hand, we have to wait it out. But trust me, this deck, it, it works a lot faster than this. And you know what? I'm glad that it's working out this way because you need to have the patience so you don't mess up your combos. And like I said, every single card in here is a must-have because it plays a key factor to all the combos. And here we go. For instance, now we're going to start. Well, let's see if he doesn't cherry blossoms anything now, which I don't think he could with this car. All right, so now I'm gonna get rid of the Majikashi to bring one another one to my hand. But we already want her to be in the graveyard anyway, so that's the purpose of that. Oh yeah, I forgot to draw one card with that card. Come on, Upstart Goblin, give me something good. Okay, a second Wabuku. Definitely is going to come in handy down the road. Two Wabukus. Damn, I have to end now. I don't see anything else I could play off. Oh, is that a burn deck? That makes sense, guys okay so that's it's not that he has a bad hand he has a burn deck okay so he has to set up in a wow all right so who will get there first hand burning me to zero or me decking him out to zero with zero cards let's see interesting gonna attack with a zero monster 
He's probably gonna do it for an effect like that, but I ain't taking no chances. <laughs> Probably still guess his ability if the attack goes through or not because it's at zero. And nah, I hope it doesn't because, okay, good, he ain't getting no effect because then that would mean I would have wasted my Wabaku. to do here hold up <laughs> might as well clear the field set my second wabuku down just in case for his next turn and just wait I can't believe Rageki didn't do nothing to that car what a waste I do not want him to attack anything, so I'm gonna start chain linking everything. And again, guys, do not panic when you have a bad hand. It, everything will resolve itself if you let your combos go through. Like right now, I'm not panicking. Like I'm upset. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I'm a little upset. But do not panic, all right? I believe in my combos. Every card in this hand is here for a purpose. It's just that right now, <laughs> the purpose that I need it is not helpful. So again, do not panic. Wow, he just burned me for 3,000. It's not looking good guys it's not looking good but again it's okay all right here we go let's start the combinations now and again be very careful when you guys are playing this deck because if you miss the opportunity to activate somebody's effect or you activate at the wrong time you're gonna mess up the combo and you're gonna end up missing a turn and you will lose Alright, so first thing first, I need to get, where is it at? I gotta get Tower Zombie in the graveyard. Now I can either use Monster Reborn, or again, I could use my um, Book of Life. But since this is a burn deck, and he hasn't thrown nothing in the graveyard, I have to just use um, Monster Reborn. So again, keep Monster Reborn in this deck. Now I gotta bring out Majikashi, the the girl, what's her name? So she could come out and start special summoning so I could start decking him out. So I'm gonna link summon these two guys and then she'll be able to come in. Watch. Bam. He loses cards for that. And now I could bring her out because she's the main focus of the deck with the uh, zombie tower. It's basically them two are the combos. So I have to do my best to continue the, the combos or I will lose. Hopefully I could get some of his monsters so then if anything I could use Book of Life and continue discarding and I could remove one of his cards. Ouch, here we go. What is he activating now? Right, he keeps burning. Interesting. I do not have that many life points left. Like I told you guys, now that he has monsters in the graveyard, I can activate Book of Life. Here we go. 
boom, another special summon he loses, and now I can start synchro summoning, which is the whole key of this deck. Alright, here we go. You gotta have the patience for this because one, you're gonna make your opponent rage quit. Because once they see and catching and they start catching on what's gonna happen. They're going to rage quit and you're going to get a whole bunch of wins that way. Two, you could deck them out. But again, if you make the slightest error, like there's no room for errors with this deck. There really isn't. So if then if this deck has any drawbacks, it would be that. That there's no room for error. You have to do every combo correctly. If you mess up once and you're not able to synchro summon the last guy to finish him off and you give them an extra turn that they shouldn't have, you could possibly lose. So just be mindful. Alright, so let's continue the synchro summoning party because we're going to be synchro summoning a lot of cars guys and when you run out, you link summon. Take your time. Don't hit cancel by accident and do not and, and not be able to bring her out. Take your time, make sure yes, activate her effect, have her come hit the field, and you do the process all over again. Again, guys, it's it's a very good deck. Um, it's very powerful, but you have to be able to do all the combos correctly. If you slipped up once, it could literally cost you the match. So if that's something that is too risky for you guys, then maybe this ain't the deck profile for you. But again, it's, it literally works. It's one of the strongest decks out there. Or at least it's a fun deck. You know, to decking out your opponent, making them rage quit. I love that. And they're easy wins to collect gems as well, guys. But it's a little complicated because you have to... Well, it's not complicated. You just gotta have the patience to do your combos and do them correctly. If you if you if you get distracted by your TV or whatever, or someone walking in, and you hit a cancel button and you don't get her effect to come back out, oh, it's gonna cost you. And then you have to find out a different way to your next turn to bring her back. So just be careful. That's all I'm saying. Make sure you read your cards. You take your time to activate them. Don't try to rush it because that's how you make mistakes. And all I want you guys to do is succeed, win your matches, and get your gems, man. So, take your time. That's my advice. Take your time. And normally, you will get a hand like this in your first turn. Like, if, you, if I were to go first, I could easily do this as well. I just didn't draw the right cards right away. But again, you have to be patient. And I believed in my combos will come in and look where we are now. Now I'm just going to continue the combos. Continue the combos. Just got to be patient, guys. Alright? Believe in your deck and your combos will come out. And I'm actually missing a couple of cards, to be honest. Uh, a lot of these cards are ultra rare, so I can only get like one copy of like the last few synchro summoning. So I have to start back with the beginning, which is okay because I could. You need to go be able to go back from the beginning stages. But once I unlock maybe two more of those ultra rares, I'll probably do an update on this deck to show you guys when it's fully complete. But look at that! Just like that, we decked them out easy victory let's go to our next match like i said there's multiple ways from winning in case you ever get stuck you don't have to deck them out this deck actually has strong cards where you could actually you know Beat him up to zero, you know, take all zero, all his life points away.
But again, I get to go second, that's fine. There's plenty of ways to win, guys. Just gotta be patient. Let's see what he's playing. Could he be possibly playing a Dark Magician deck since he has the avatar there? Who knows? Okay, one card down. Good for us. Alright, that's good because that trap card, Thunder and Roar, will hold us out while we wait to play our combos, keep us safe from an attack. Alright, here we go. Let's, let's get our one draw. And this field card has plenty of effects, alright? We could get the extra draw and it will also protect our life points in case I didn't have that trap card and my field was empty if I were to get attacked it will protect me and that we could also draw pay a thousand to draw a card so it has its advantages when you always play that guy always go out for the girl and then you could play him to always throw out Zombie Tower when he throw when he gets his effect. Always throw out Zombie Tower, and then we could always find a way to bring him back with this guy over here. Now, yeah, I'm a double summon. I run one copy. I I tried running three, but it became bricky and and it. A dead draw to be honest so I put one just in case and look and it happened to work out because once that guy that's seven, <clears throat> once that 17 attacker were to die I could use this effect to bring some tower out so I don't care if he destroys him ah I should have not ended guys this is what I'm talking about mistakes I could have Link summoned um, the girl with, uh, you see, I missed the opportunity to make a combo and I could have started decking him out, but now I just gave this guy an extra turn. Well, if he's going to destroy my track card, I might as well activate it, chain it. Again, guys, I'm glad you see these mistakes that I make so you don't make them. I could have already started Link Summoning and then I could have started Synchro Summoning and I would have been able to bring back the tower. Ah, oh, how can I miss that? That was my fault. And again, you gotta be extra patient with this deck. See all the combos before you end because it will cost you. Even though he, my opponent right now is not doing nothing, but you ain't gonna get lucky like that every single time, right? And you don't wanna give your opponents extra turns. That's my point. Come on, buddy, hurry up and end. Oh, crap, is he gonna take my Sandy title? Yep. All right, well, anyways, I got Lightning, um, why keep saying lightning vortex man that's why geki <laughs> yep you guys you have to understand i used to play Yu-Gi-Oh back in the day and raigeki was always banned when i used to play and then when i give up the game for like ooh, let's say about 15 years and i came back now raigeki and a lot of the cards that used to be banned are like playable now so i used to always have lightning vortex as the substitute for raigeki so i can't stop calling it that i don't know why All right, first things first, let me get my monster back in my graveyard. All right, let's start the Synchro Summoning Party. Oh, wait, that's right. Ooh, I thought I could do it with the other guy. Hold up. That's fine, I can still activate it with this guy. And 
and I could still get the effect of tower and I could still bring her back hmm I mean I could synchro summon him with her for the level 5 guy No, I'm gonna stick to the game plan. One and two. I already got one zombie tower. It would be nice to have two, but I don't even know what he has in his backfield. So let me not get too crazy and let me just start off normal. I ain't gonna lie, one time I almost synchro summoned the tower with the girl because <laughs> it was highlighted. Oh man, luckily I was able to press cancel or, <laughs> or I, I realized right away, but that could happen if you guys are not paying attention, man. Watch out for that. That's crazy, he's gonna activate something from his graveyard from a trap card. There's not even at oh man, I gotta be careful with this new. There's so many new cards guys that again since I've been out of it for a long, long time. And now that I'm back into Yu-Gi-Oh! There's a lot of cards that I don't even know. There are like staple cards to you guys. They're like, oh how can you not know this? Like my favorite example is Cherry Blossom, which I hate that card. But that card's like the new heavy storm back in the day or or whatever you know it's like it's a must-have card and they got so so many new decks right now that i want to build but at first i have to understand how to play them <laughs> guys you have to understand like i stopped playing when the monarchs the mar the first monarchs the 24 attackers came out that's when i stopped playing like when they when, when they first hit that's when i stopped so you could understand how way back of Synchro Summon, XYC Summoning, Pendulums, and now with Link Monsters, it's like, you don't understand the how I have to catch up. Now I will admit, um, a lot of these decks are decks that I research, are decks that I like, and I figure, well, how the have they improved with over time? What cards did they add it? And I take these ideas and then I combine them. Like for instance, uh, this Majikashi deck, my younger brother mentioned it to me. He actually dueled me against me with it and I lost to it. And I'm like, you know what, that's a cool deck. And I asked him to help me out with the recipe. Even though he was being a jerk and he was reluctant to give it to me because he said, oh, you gotta come up with your own ideas. And because that's how he came up with the idea. But while I was researching for the cards, that deck was out there since 2018. So I didn't want to call him on him, you know, call him on and be like, oh, so you didn't copy this deck? This, this deck's been around since 2018 with this little combo. Only obviously they added new more cards to make it better. But I didn't care. He pissed me off. <laughs> I love you, brother, but you pissed me off that day. Eventually, he gave me the rest of the, the cards and the combos. And then I had to look it up and to see how I could make his version better. And this is what I came up with. I simplified it, added some more delayed stall cards like with your Wabakus and Thundering Roar and Chicken Game to stall to so when people attack you, you could end battle phase and then you could start getting ready to do your combos. So it's not like I completely copy off of you, brother. <laughs> but you know, I, I just like the fact that this was a fun deck and I wanted to build it. I'm not gonna lie, a lot of the ideas I get, because I'm so backed up, is from watching YouTube online. And I'm like, wow, that's a cool deck, and I wanna build it. One, so I can understand it, learn these new cards. And two, it's fun, man. Like, it's fun decking these people out and having them rage quit on me all the time. 
it took me a while to get these videos that they didn't rage quit but you know it's just to show you guys that it's a real cool deck as long as you be patient and do your combinations right you'll be just fine and again look at it, the combinations are still going And mind you, now, now I'm gonna attack him. All right, I'm not. I, I don't have to deck y'all only. When I lick, lick summon this guy level four, boom. Now I could attack you with 26 and eight. It's a wrap, kid. Got Alright, here we go. Finally, I get to go first. Let's, right. Let's see what we got here in our hand. I'm definitely going to use Wobble Crew to protect us from getting attacked. Okay, I'm a normal summon. Then I'll be able to activate the other guy by specially summoning him. Okay, let's start the combos real quick. Okay, special summon. Now you always get um, zombie tower with this guy. Or you could get the other guy, the 17 attacker, who once he's in your graveyard, he could get you zombie tower once he hits the graveyard. But I'd rather still have zombie tower first, no matter what. And with Master Reborn, I could just bring him back now. We should be able to link summon and synchro, but I oh no, that's right. Only link. I'll be able to link right now. Uh, I'm thinking I have the girl. <laughs> like I said, we still got Wobble Crew. We still protect it. So let's end our turn. Hopefully we'll draw into her and we could start the whole process again. Let's just wait and see what happens before we activate Wobble Crew. Because he might not even attack this turn, so... I mean, who knows? Okay, I'm gonna activate it now because I don't trust these Stark Magician decks. I mean, look at that, he's already doing spell counters. I don't trust it. Oh yes, let's activate his effect real quick. Should be able to hit the field now. Nah, don't tell me about it and they gave my effect. Oh, 
Oh, yes. Throw her out. Remember, every time he gets special summon, he could um, discard one card, one zombie card to the graveyard. And this time, I need her on the graveyard. And with this card right here, we can also search for a Majikaji to our hand as well. Yes, activate his effect. Which he brings somebody back from the graveyard. Again, guys, you gotta be patient with all your combos. Do not despair. Alright, let the combos begin. Here we go. Let's start synchro summoning. Yep. Just waiting for him to try to activate something on the backfield. I don't trust that he has two face down cards. So until he activates anything, I'm just going to continue with our combos of synchro summoning nonstop. There it is. Bottomless. But it will not get hurt though. He might got the Synchro Monster, but again, I could still activate her effect with the other guy right there. Woohoo, that's right, I can activate his effect and chain link it. Now he's gonna get special summon to the field. Now let's continue our combo. Okay, here we go. Bring him out again, unless he's gonna bottom this a, a second time. And again, if I want, I could just straight up attack this guy too, but I don't trust what that other face down car is back there. So maybe that's the last resort. But for now, I'm just going to continue my combo and keep having him discard cards. And again, we just got to believe in that the combos the combos are going to continue i mean unless he activates uh another trap card i'm pretty sure it's safe to say that we're good i don't think he has not nothing right now to stop my combos he 
just gotta have patience with this deck guys i'm telling you it's a very fun deck so you gotta be patient with it you have to play your combos right you gotta keep synchro summoning and a nine out of ten the the opponent will always quit so it's an easy way to get gems and some would just rarely stay to finish to let you finish the whole combo so they could study your deck uh as your deck profile and then they'll probably try to imitate or try to see if they could come up with a counter in the future when they play against other people like it and mind you i'm still waiting to unlock more cards i want to unlock like two more synchro summons that are ultra rare but this game makes it really hard to get these ultra rares man i mean it's not really that hard you just gotta get the gems buy the packs and then if you any ultra rares you don't like you just switch them out to get the ones you need for your um your deck but man it's just a little pain in the butt it really is i think that's my only flaw that i that i don't like about this game but then again in their perspective uh you know in their point of view is there is like that's how they're gonna make their money you know they want you to hurry up and buy the gems because you're desperate to hurry up and build this new deck so you could do good online and that's how they're gonna do it so i see it i mean i don't blame them i ain't gonna hate it's still frustrating but i ain't gonna hate Again, I bring this guy out just for backup, you know, just to get his effect. And then so I could reset everybody back from the beginning. So And again, right now I don't think he has no answer. I mean he's about to deck out. I think he has like what a couple of cards left. I think I just saw 20 All I can do is just link level two guys. I'm not sure if I can still sync or I think I think I'm gonna have to end. I mean, I can still attack him. I can activate my effect, put him at zero, smack him up a little bit, force him to activate that last card. Because he, I mean, he has nothing in his hand, so. His last protection is whatever that face down card is, and I don't know. see what he does again guys whenever your your combination stop you should be have a good size sizable field of monsters strong monsters at that where you could just attack too and bring his life points low or even get game with it like we like we saw in that last duel I was able to just, just attack him and win him at, and win him and win the game like that what is that spell huh? A lot of spell counters. Let me see, is there anything else that I could try to special? 
See, I can't do it with that because then I will have to get rid of Zombie Tower. I mean... I don't know, I don't feel comfortable. Yeah, let's just attack because now the field is empty, let's go. He has nothing else to protect him. He better have nothing else to protect him. That's right, eat that 29, hold that. Take this 19 too. And hold this. Again guys, like, you could do damage with your monsters alone too. And we could always continue the combinations on your next turn. We could draw into another Majikashi and her effect will start popping off again. Once I normal summon, I could just synchro summon both of them and finish off. Look, he's down to 11 cards now, so 11 cards, one card in his hand, pretty much nothing too crazy on the field. So right now we have the upper hand. As far as field control, I think we have the upper hand. Hand control, he has it because he has one and I have none, but that's okay. Unless he does uh, Raigeki or Lightning Vortex, um, I'm good. <laughs> I mean, at this point, I could just finish him off with an attack on my next turn. Instead of trying to go after that 11 cards on his deck, so have him deck out but that's that's the good thing about this deck you have options you just gotta be very patient with your combos that's all right get a little life points that's not what i'm after i mean i could attack but with my luck, that's probably Mirror Force. <laughs> Alright, let's activate this. And let's start specially summoning stuff back. Might as well attack and force him to activate the last magic or trap. He could have been bluffing. Ooh, what is that? It's over. That's fine. I mean, I could wait. All I really need is another Majikashi monster to come to my hand. And then I can activate the cards that are on the feet, uh, on my back row. But right now he's drawing that straws. I mean, look, he's down to 10 cards. I mean, okay, I can see he's gaining his life points, but I don't know. Ta, ah, yes, yeah, it's over. Remember, all we want to do is special summon non-stop. And every time we special summon, Zombie Tower gets his effect. So he's down to what, 10 cards? Let's see what he activates real quick. Perfect. That's okay, I'm not going to attack. I don't need to attack this turn. I already have game, so that's fine. Protect yourself. I ain't gonna attack it this turn, buddy. Look, boom. That's two cards right there. And I get to send one card to the graveyard. And guess what? Now I'm gonna use that effect to special summon again. Look, that 10 is gonna go to eight now. Now he has eight cards left. Activate the, well, I could start the synchro summoning party with her and her 
and then the, the ice guy that's it <laughs> it's over i could start all the way from the beginning now when she, this guy comes and the girl comes that's four cards well right now he's gonna lose two when i bring her he's gonna lose four now he's already at eight minus four he's gonna have four cards left it's, it's, it's done man it's over for him and I could special summon one more other guy now. Watch. He will be at four cards left. When I special summon this guy, now he'll that'll be six cards he will lose. So now he'll be down to two cards. Boom. There she goes. So now I'm gonna leave him with two cards. What, what everything finished resolving, he's only gonna have two cards left. And guess what? I could still synchro. It's a wrap. <laughs> Come on, once it finished, we saw, ooh, tricky little bastard. He was gonna try to burn me out. He should have two cards left now. It's over. Once I bring this next card out, that should be, he should be at zero after this. That's it, I won. Wow, he tried to burn me at the last minute. He was close. Boom, once this resolve is over, once she hits that field, he'll deck out. it's over look at that he has two cards left hello that's it it's done deal buddy now i just gotta end my turn come on don't activate nothing else i'm just gonna end my turn it's over good game good game good game sir that was close yo he could have had me with that burn i would not see that coming but all right, he's gonna let me go first. All right, let's go to our next match. Thank you, sir. All right, it's a pretty good hand. I mean, we have Wabaku, Thunder and Roar to protect us from attack for two turns at least while we get the combo started, so. Never no more summon the ice guy first because you he only gets his effect if you have a Magikashi on the field. So you always want to hold down to that ice guy. But you know who I really need in the graveyard right now is this guy. <laughs> I don't care if he attacks like that. I don't have to waste my uh, Wabaku. Let him attack him. So have that guy in your graveyard. So when we activate the Ice Guy's effect of sending Zombie Tower to the graveyard, then I use the other guys to bring Zombie Tower from the graveyard to the field. So this is why I put him in defense mode. Let him attack. Let him get attacked. I don't care. I want him on the graveyard. Ooh, you're going to force me to activate. I mean, might as well if you're going to destroy it. <laughs> Come on, let me just end my turn. There's nothing else for this guy to do. Well, I'm sorry, <laughs> it's his go. What is he running? Oh, you trying to do a Numeron, okay. Yeah, be careful because he could attack everybody and double up. Or he could burn me with the, the guy's effect. Numeron Network deck. Okay. I already have my own deck profile on the Numeron Network um, deck. If you guys want to check out, check out on the playlist for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. And you can see I have my own play um, deck profile on that guy. But let's see how he uses it, he uses it in, this, in this fight. 
won this match. Okay, interesting trap card, but I didn't, I didn't see really do anything to her. Which I don't care because I don't want her effect right now. I need this guy's effect. Okay, he's gonna bring out the field spell card. Ooh, Maxi, yes. Guys, another thing, whenever they play Maxi with this deck is perfect because they're gonna draw a lot of cards. So it's gonna help you deck them out even faster. Wow, I'm so happy he chain leg Maxi. Thanks. All right, so let's get Zombie Tower already in the graveyard. Now I need to get this guy to go to the graveyard. <laughs> but for now, I guess I'll attack. Maybe you see if I could link. Can I link or? Ooh, yeah. I was thinking maybe I should just sync up. But if I could link him, then the link summoning should send him to the graveyard. As a matter of fact, I'll synchro summon all three of these jokers just so I could get him in the graveyard. But I'll be messing up one of my combos, but it is what it is. I need him in the graveyard so I could hurry up and bring Zombie Tower. And in case I gotta stop short, I could always put Thunder and Roar to stop him from attacking me anyway, so. But I need to get the combo started now. First thing first, I need Zombie Tower to hit the field. So let's bring him out. And again, as you can see, every time I specially summon, he's drawing a card. Look at his hand. I mean, I could continue the the synchro right now to his highest level. And since his field is wide open, I could still attack. <laughs> again, not only is he discarding, but he's also drawing each time she comes back. And you know a lot of people are running maxis. Like that's the next since I started playing Yu-Gi-Oh again. I noticed that Maxi Cherry Blossom are like the new staples is like they must be must have because everybody and their mother special summon so they throw out Maxi right away so they could get those extra draws. But unfortunate for this person, it's gonna backfire. I mean if I do all my combos correctly, it should. I mean look at the size of his hand right now. While he's still decking out, he's now drawing for each time I special summon. Ah, this is the bad part. <laughs> He drew into a Cherry Blossom or even if other players they use, they still use Veil. And he chained it to Zombie Tower, smart. That was smart of him to chain it to Zombie Tower because now it doesn't matter if I keep Sacred and Summoning, he won't activate the, the, the draw effect. But like I told you guys, I can still attack <laughs> and I'm gonna attack his ass. I mean, just in case I can't deck you out, I'm gonna have your life points pretty low so I could finish you off that way. Now, I'm in a little bit of trouble because he's playing Numeron Network. Oh, he's like, you know, when it's his turn, he's gonna bring out those four level ones and just attack and double each attack. So Thunder and Wolf will only save me for one turn. Or if he decides to bring out the other level two XYZ, he gonna take away my field and then burn me when he comes back he could also do that but let's see what he's gonna do I mean I, could, I have multiple ways it's just that's the thing it's not just one way of winning we have multiple ways wow lucky him 
Magic Mal is gonna return everything back to the deck. <laughs> but wait a minute, wouldn't they still give him the same type of amount of cards back? I forget how Mal it works. All I know is shuffling everything back and give him a new hand. I mean, I'm already ready. Like, no matter what he does, I'm gonna chain Thunder and Roar no matter what he does. Because I know he's gonna bring out those level ones. So I might as well bring it out now before he plays something crazy that will negate Thunder and Roar, and then I'll be in trouble. That's fine. You can make that guy weak. Let's see. I mean, he's definitely playing a lot of cards that I don't use on my Numeron Network deck. Ta special summoning. And that's right, anytime they destroy one of your Synchro Monsters with an effect, you can get rid of one to special summon back another one. And guess what? Even though I'm special summoning on his turn, he still has to discard two cards. This deck works in perfect. It's just perfect, man. Look at that. I still had him discarding in his own turn. I'll do it again. I don't care. I mean, we already all know what he's about to do. I don't know why he's wasting time destroying my field. All right, here we go. He's about to bring four of them little jokers. <laughs> the funny thing is, I love that deck, the Numeron Network, <laughs> but playing against it is such a pain. <laughs> uh, oh, wait a minute, he's gonna link some level 4. And again, this is not a bad idea, because that's something that I want to do with uh, my deck profile of the Numeron Network, but right now I don't have no good level 4 link monsters that I haven't unlocked because they're all ultra rare right now. So again, even that deck, I had to do a, a deck profile update because I just got the basics of it, but I need one uh, level four link so I could do what he just did right now. I also want to be able to do a couple of more stuff because it's mainly a burn deck the way I use the Numeron Network. So. But still, uh, having at least one level four, it's a good option to have. Cause look at that, you can easily bring out a level four with what he just did right now. Like, again, it's just to give you options. All right, let's go back to the combos here real quick. That's right, I don't care if you negate the effect. As long as zombie tower is not being negated, that's all I care about. Solomon Judgment. Oof. You know what? I mean, that's fine. I mean, <laughs> it, it's bringing his life points lower and closer to zero, but there's plenty of ways I could I could do stuff. Look, I could still special summoning. Not over just yet. I mean, I wonder if I could get her effect. I mean, I should be able to. Hell yeah, Link Summon, and then when she sees another Majikashi, then she'll come out from the from the graveyard. The, the yes, it's, it's gonna work. Watch, watch this, guys. It should be able to work. 
I'm gonna link some in these two to bring back the Link Majikashi level two. Once he hits the field, then her act her effect will activate from the graveyard because you just brought a Majikashi. Yep, I knew it. Look at that, I even activated it for both of them. See, I was scared that it wouldn't. So that's why I threw a second copy of her in the graveyard. So look, it even worked out. Even though obviously I can only special summon one of her, that's fine, but I was just trying to be cautious. <laughs> All right, so look, I got what I wanted. Boom, she hit the field. He loses more cards. And I'm just gonna continue. Ooh, man, if I synchro summon, I would lose zombie tower or I could just link summon level four. Hold up, I need another card to my hand. Dang, I gotta pick correctly. Hmm. What do I need right now? I mean, with the ice guy, yeah, the ice guy should be able to hit the field though. Whenever he's in the hand or in the graveyard, his effects should active as long as I have a Majikashi. Let me see if it works. Nope, they're still telling me to link level four. Or if I synchro summon right now for that level, um, what's that level five? It's gonna take. Yeah, I might as well link summon level four. I mean, with the effect of my guy, I could make his guy zero and I could just attack him. <laughs> I mean, if his backfield doesn't destroy me. Boom, she comes back. Damn, but I need to bring Zombie Tower somehow now. I mean, he only has seven cards too, man. Come on, guys. I'm like right there. But you know what? I'm gonna go for it. I mean, I should attack his ass. Oh yeah, activate my effect. Ooh, backfire. I guess he's unaffected, so it forced me to activate it on her. Ouch. All right, fine. Damn, it's only gonna let me level link two. Okay, hold up. I need, I need this ice guy to activate his effect. Let me see if it'll work when she hits the field again. If he highlights yellow, I'm set. I mean, I, I mean, I know why you guys think, why would I get rid of my level four for level two? But the thing is, I'm trying to, well, if he's gonna attack, have him attack the 19 guy <laughs> so I could keep her. Damn, he didn't highlight yellow, so I couldn't get his effect. So I have to wait till next turn. Damn it. But again, look at his life point. He's at 1850. He's down to six cards. I mean, I have the upper hand so far. Oh, wow. One, he's probably going to bring something from my graveyard because I have like, I knew it. All right, again, guys, don't panic. Let him do whatever he has to do. When you're playing against this, when you're using this deck, don't panic. Just play it out. It will work out at the end. But I'm surprised. See, the only drawback to Numeron Network is that you cannot have no monsters on your field. Or else you won't be able to activate his effect where you could use the field spell card to search the other spell card that brings you out all level four so the fact that he's doing he monster reborn and have his own level link level four now he's just stuck he has to wait until i destroy his monsters in order to use the network so i don't think he's using it properly to be honest i mean he's probably using it to be have a an extra source of bring out guys and have a different option to attack but I don't know, maybe the Numeron Network is not his main deck focus. But I don't know. I don't think he's using it right. Woohoo, Wabaku. At least I could survive one extra turn. <laughs> 
I don't know guys, to me, Wabuku is my staple card. Wabuku is my Cherry Blossom or your Maxi. Damn, no effects from the graveyard. I really thought I was going to get something. Oh, can't do nothing else but end. I could survive one more turn. I mean, no matter what he does right now, I have Wabuku, so I could change. Unless he has another Solomon to prevent Wabuku, then I'm going to be in serious trouble. Ooh. No, I don't think so. You're not getting that. Good. Come on, heart of the cards. Alright, I should be able to summon this guy. And when this guy hits the field, he brings somebody back from the graveyard. So, yes, activate his effect. Ooh, who do I need right now? Who else effect can I activate? Yes! Okay, perfect. Remember guys, this ice guy gets his effect from the hand or the graveyard. And you know who I'm about to throw out right now. Remember, I already have a zombie tower already in the graveyard, so I'm gonna throw him out to bring out back my zombie tower. And it's a done it's a done deal. Now I could uh, synchro summon her with a level 1 and I could start with the early stages and it's a wrap. He has what? 5 cards left? I had him at 7 so he should have like 5 cards now. It's over son. Bye bye. Once he hits and the other hit girl hits, he should be down to like 1 card. It's game. Come on. That's four cards. You should be down to one card left. Maybe two. But see guys, I could just continue the effect right now. It's over. Ah, he quit. Ah, you ain't had to quit, dog. Come on. You ain't had to really quit. Well, it looked like his internet really gave out. So I apologize, you didn't quit. It looks like your internet did you the favor. But you was about to lose that match, sir. I'm sorry. I'm not being cocky or nothing like that. I had you like at seven cards. I brought you down to probably your final card. And I come on dog. It was it was over for you. Let's see how let's see how the next match goes. Well, it looks like I'm going second. See what we got here. Okay, not bad. I right, got Thunder and Roar. Got my field spell card. It's a pretty good hand. I'm, I'm happy with this hand. Wonder what he's got. He's taking quiet. Quite some time there, buddy. Let's go. Now that's a good start. I don't know about you. <laughs> I'm okay if that's all he does. Ooh, perfect. Again, you want as much many turns as you need to get your combos, but you want to be able to do it on your first turn, obviously. But if they give you plenty of chances, run with it. All right, let me draw my card. A thousand. Okay, let's read this card real quick. I mean, if I use that guy, I will have to discard one Majikashi. I mean, I'm, I'm put Thunder and Roar to protect. 
Let me see if I get another draw. See if we can get something better. Hold on. Play another thousand. Yes, draw a card. Oof. I mean, this guy brings me out the the girl. She's about to hit the field. I mean, if he hits the field, if I use the ice guy, he's not going to get his effect. He only gets it in the graveyard or in the hand. So, like I said, I always use this guy to bring the girl out. Let's activate it. One for one. Oh yeah, throw him out. You know I'm gonna get my ice guy. Come on, guy. Come on, guy. You know this. Ah. I was hoping he was going to my hand. I mean, I could get him to go to the graveyard. You know what? Let me link summon first. I need that guy in the graveyard. If he goes to the graveyard, I should be able to get my effect. And that should be able to throw out zombie tower and then I could master reborn his ass. Yes, I ever come back. Oh yes, he's definitely getting his effect in the graveyard. Let's go! That's what I was hoping for. All right, he's gonna come back, but at least he's gonna throw out Zombie Tower. <laughs> yep. And again, now I could Synchro Summon the two level ones, cause you know, I'm gonna bring Zombie Tower out with Master Reborn. See guys, you can not give up on your combinations. Like, you may think I just whipped this combination out of nowhere, but the combo was there. All I had to do was take my time and see and, and let it play out. If I would have just panicked and like, oh, I just end my turn or quit, you're never gonna know what's gonna happen. So you gotta read each card carefully. Trust in your combos. And look, I was able to bring out Zombie Tower. I'm able to start doing the combinations now. And it's a wrap, like, unless he's gonna Cherry Blossom or do something. He's not stopping my combination right now. I have to go all the way to level 10 and then restart it back to level 2 all the way. <laughs> and then Link Summon level 4 even if I have to as a last resort. Like, watch. Just watch. Just gotta be patient, guys. That's the only thing I could stress. You know, I know I keep saying it throughout the whole, each and every match, but like, if you're gonna run this deck, if you wanna build this deck, you gotta have the patience, right? gotta have the patience and not panic and look actually at your hand and see what you have and see how each card plays out and the combos will come to you and i made plenty of mistakes so if you see this video you see of what not to do you know because you're going to come to similar situations as well i mean i right now i got this guy like it's gonna be a while before I stop synchro summoning level um, link two and even link four if I need to for a last resort. At least I have a strong monster. But it's it's a wrap, dude. Right now he's gonna keep losing cards. And again, they 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 will always get annoyed and they'll just rage quit. They really do. And you're not doing nothing. You're just following your <laughs> your game plan. And again, if for whatever reason, if he does stop the combination, right? I have Thunder and Roar as my trap card. I have Chickity Game, uh, Chicken Game, whatever the hell it's called. I keep forgetting the Field Spell card. All right, my life points are lower, so if he were to attack me, I don't have to necessarily waste Thunder and Roar. I could just let chicken game the field spell card protect my life points and my monsters you understand and if let's say he pays the thousand to destroy the field spell card fine no problem guess what thunder and roar it will survive 
I will survive until my next turn. And guess what? Since all my monsters are here, I'm just going to continue the combo. So again, Wabuku, Thunder and Roar are, to me, are a must-have in this deck. Like the way my brothers played it, he doesn't even use those cards, but because he's trying to do it in one shot, which is pretty good. If you could get it on your first turn, the combination, perfect. But sometimes with Cherry Blossom and all this Solomon judge, Judgment out there, they are going to try to stop you. So you need to be able to hold out at least two, three turns so you could do your combo and get game. Because by then they're going to quit because if they can't finish you in the first two turns, it's, it's over for them. Like, what I'm showing you guys is nothing compared to, like, the way my brother has it set it up. I mean, his his version was okay, but I think mine is better. Look at that, he just quit, because he knew I was just going to continue the combo. Let's see how we do in this last match, guys. All right, let's see who's going to go first. Thank you. I guess I get to go first. Nice. Hey, uh, real quick guys, I'm sorry if the video is, is an hour long, but again, I, I want you guys to see um, all the different combinations that this deck can offer you guys, okay? From, like, I made a couple of mistakes throughout some of these matches that I don't want you guys to commit, so I want you guys to watch it, okay? So you can avoid the same landmines that I made. Do not give your opponent extra turns when you can finish them right there and there. And what else? Well, I mean, I got a pretty good hand right here. You know, I'm going to bring my girl out right there. And you know, Iceman's about to get his effect once she hits the field. And you already know I'm about to throw out. But again, it's just, I want you guys to, uh, I know it's, the video is long, like I was saying, but I want you guys to watch it so you can see all the different combinations. You could win by attacking, you could win by decking them out. Um, you have a lot of spell cards with the Wabakus, Thunder and Roar, and Chicken Game to fill spell card. So you have a lot of options to put your opponent at bay to give you that second turn. So once you draw, you draw to your second Magic Kashi, and it's a wrap. You start your whole combination all over again, and they will lose. Or rage quit because a lot of people rage quit when I was playing this um, deck online and ranked and like I said I was just getting easy gems back to back to back because they just kept rage, um, rage quitting it took me a while to post this video because I had to find uh, matches that actually ended throughout the whole like it was able to let me finish the duel without them quitting because a lot of them just rage quit that's why the last three vid you know it's like, uh, it's frustrating because <laughs> I'm trying to show you guys the contact, but they keep rage quitting, guys. <laughs> I don't know. I still love this deck. I think it's, this deck is very, very fun. It's annoying to your opponent, but just thinking about how annoying, how annoyed my opponent is, it just makes me laugh. So, you know what? I love it. I mean, I couldn't, even though I have Zombie Tower, I couldn't really activate the effect right away. So that's why I just left it at that. Now, whatever he does, he could destroy the whole field. I'll be able to start my combination no matter what on my next turn either way. Unless he <laughs> he brings out freaking Chaos Max Dragon <laughs> hits and hits a girl with zero defense and is over in one shot. Other than that, I don't, I don't think he's going to beat me. Sorry. <laughs> I should have be more than enough to survive one turn and then start my combination. Because I pretty had a good hand. I just wasn't able to bring out Sambi Tower out right away. But I should in my next turn. Iceman Effect should activate. Once I draw, then I'll be able to throw the zombie 17 guy and start bringing tower and then start the synchro summoning process. 
But I gotta wait for this guy to finish his turn because he's about to. Whoa. Is this guy running a burn deck? Nah. Don't tell me he's about to X. He's gonna XYZ summon. So. Usa. Let's see what he's about to do. Normally when they, you see those metal machine tank guys, you know they're about to just bring one back after another one. What is that spell card? Here we go. He's about to do it. Obviously, this is a smart player because a lot of people always choose to draw. <laughs> like, I never. Oh, he just cleared my field. Wow, I'm about to get spanked. Again, like I was saying, a lot of players they just draw the extra one card, but they don't read the card completely. That if he were to attack me, I'm not gonna lose nothing. But. Now without the field card not protecting me, I'm about to get messed up. Oh man. Don't tell me I just lost. Oh wait a minute, why he didn't attack with his third guy? Guys, I was my heart is racing right now. I thought I was over. Tuh. Heart of the cards, baby. Watch this. Mm, no. Hold up. I need a Magikashi on the field in order for him to get his effect. Alright, if I bring him out, he should bring my red girl out. Then I activate Iceman's effect and now throw the 17 zombie guys so I could get tower on the field. Oh yeah, don't tell me he has that car. Don't cherry blossom. I will rage quit if you do that. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Holy crap, what is he about to do right now? Because he has me on the ropes. What does that car do? Oh Tell me I'm still able to, yes, bring her out. Mm, yeah, I'm just gonna go with her. I wanna be safe. I ain't got time to experiment. I'm on the ropes here. Come on, get your effect. I know you're gonna get your effect. Oh, this guy's trying to activate something over there. That's holding me up. Like, I'm trying to hurry up and do my combo, sir. Uh, she's on the field. Have a Magikashi on the field. Iceman should get his effect. Send his ass to the graveyard. Get tower out and start. I should be able to start the process. Here we go. Yep, you know who you gotta throw out. Activate the effect. Here we go, guys. Yeah, I can't believe this guy left me at 1,200. I thought I lost, guys. I honestly thought I was gonna the match was over, but he only attacked me with two. I guess the third guy, when he was special summon, he cannot attack. Well, whatever the reason is, I am happy because that just bought me the extra turn that I needed. Now it's over for this guy. Here we go. Now she comes back. And I got two of them. Come on, that's four cards he's about to lose. Let's go. And I'll synchro summon again after that. Mm, 
And I'm about to special summon another guy. And now he's gonna lose another four cards. So let's go. Now, mind you, this guy has the upper hand. Now, he has field control. And he has more life points than me. But, is the combination gonna scare him to quit? Because right now, all he's seeing is his deck being decked out and me constantly bringing the girl back. Bringing the girl back, synchro summoning. They leave, bringing the girl back. And he's losing four cards each time I do this. Now, can I scare him away and have him rage quit even though he has the upper hand? Or, or he's going to stay there and see if I deck him out now? Because to be honest, I don't think I have... All the combinations to deck them out right now I think I'm only be able to bring her up to maybe the last synchro and maybe another link level 2 but then I'll be stuck because I don't think I have another effect in the graveyard but again it's not about you know he don't know what I know right now right now all he knows that he's losing four cards each time she comes out and She's gonna come out with a guy who's 33 at the end, who's stronger than his monster. Well, he actually has a, some of his monsters. Again, look, she comes back out, that's a, ah, he quit. <laughs> Guys, again, look at that. It's a done deal. You just gotta be patient. Be patient. The combinations will come to you. I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. Take care.